Hello there. In today's video, we are going to be testing a hide shield. This is a piece of cowhide that I baked over an open fire while still fresh, according to a Sioux recipe that I found. Due to inexperience, it didn't quite work out. It shriveled up around the sides, and it's not quite as thick as the recipe says it should be, but it should be an interesting test. Due to heat treatment, the cowhide is now a quarter of an inch on average, but it varies a bit. In an attempt to simulate the shield being on an arm, I put it on a stand rather than strapping it to the bale. Because it's a shield rather than armor, the criteria for success are different. With armor, the arrow only has to penetrate about 3 inches to be successful. With this shield, it's going to have to penetrate 6 inches or more, due to the shield being held further from the body. To begin with, I'm going to test a hunting bow. This first shot shows me that the stand was a bad idea. The arrow is stuck in the wood of the stand. This skews my test rather unhelpfully. The antler-headed arrow bounced off. At the time, I misattributed this to the stand again. However, in editing, I can see that it didn't strike where the stand is. Let's get rid of the stand and go to my default setup. This biases the test in favor of the arrows, as it's held much more firmly. Even so, the antler-headed arrow bounces off harmlessly. The steel-tipped arrow penetrated the shield by a little under an inch. The antler arrow bounces off and the head snaps off of the shaft. Again, the antler-tipped arrow bounces off harmlessly. I think it's shown to be proof against my hunting bow, so let's try the war bow now. The steel-tipped arrow stuck in the shield and penetrated about an inch and a half. Again, the steel arrow penetrated by about an inch and a half. This time the antler arrow didn't bounce off though, it penetrated about a quarter of an inch. But even with the extra power, the antler arrow can't do it consistently. So I guess that's shown to be proof against my war bow, so let's try the spear. I don't expect it to do well here. Nothing does well against the spear. It went right in. I guess this goes to show why plain shields were so overbuilt. Some of them were made of a double layer of buffalo hide, which was baked to be about an inch thick. Well, it stopped at that time, though. Okay. Maybe the first blow got a soft spot, or the second blow got a really hard spot. Let's try again. Okay, this one about half the length of the spear. So, law of averages, this shield would work, but you wouldn't want to trust it against a spear. Anyway, that's it for the video. I hope you found this interesting. Bye-bye.